Hi everybody, I'm back again and I just wanted to do a quick um, thrift haul. This is all arts and craft related and when I go to the thrift store that's my main purpose. Sometimes I might get clothes but the majority of the time it's um, arts and crafts and I go straight to the craft aisle and the office supply aisle because you can find some really good paper um, and you know if you can get cheap paper at the thrift store then I mean you're you're more apt to use it and experiment with it and not worry that it's too precious to to experiment with and draw on and so uh, the previous video was um, an experiment with photo paper um, I think it's for either laser jet printers or one of the two or ink jet I'm not really sure but I mean, the, those two packs were 70 some cents a piece for like a thick, thick packs of photo paper. So I'm not worried about experimenting and wasting anything. So enough with that. Let me show you what I have. So first thing, I found this paper pack. Didn't own any paper packs until I started thrifting and looking um, for some paper. This was $1.99 originally it was five dollars this had never been used um has all of the sheets in it i've actually used a couple sheets for um my daughter's junk journal that i made and that's in one of my videos if you want to um want to look at it but it's one i think she picked out a couple of sheets of paper for that and this one has 12 double-sided designs Sorry for the glare. I'll just flip through. I mean, never use. This is just awesome. So you can't beat that. I mean, two bucks for a brand new pad of paper. And then a different thrift store. These are a couple different places. Dollar fifty. This was also never used. I think my daughter picked out um, one sheet out of this for the junk journal I made her. This was on clearance originally for um, or cl clearance for $6.99. Originally it was $19.99 and this is really cool because these are metallic papers. Several, how many designs are in here? Five patterns in four colors. So I'll just flip through these really quick. So I was excited to find that. You can't really tell. That's that's pink. There's blue, gold, silver, and the same thing. Um, pink, houndstooth. I think that's called houndstooth. Gold, silver, and this here has like teeny little flowers that make up the the chevron pattern. So pink, blue gold silver i was i and the zebra print so it's all of those and this was a steal i'm just so excited i don't know what i use it I, I have used this but i can't wait to use it for some more stuff all right next thing um has just a journal for a dollar 99 um it's never been used and it is I don't know if you can see that it's graph or dots it's got dots on it so I was excited to get that and this actually has two two markers um, it's green it kind of looks blue in here it's like a greenish color and then this is um, the other marker and then it has the closure here Next thing, I don't know if I showed you this, because I have them all piled, I, I have all of this stuff piled up, and some of it I've put away, and some of it I haven't, and hopefully I haven't showed this to you. This one, 75 cents, I believe, oh, looked like they sold it, maybe someone tried to sell it for 75 cents in a yard sale. The thrift store, they have marked it as one dollar, so whatever. Sometimes I wonder. I wonder. So this is Seven Gypsies tabulated album. Never been opened. Clear acrylic 
album. It comes with two, um, what do you call them, book rings. And then different, looks like different um, widths of the acrylic cover. So that is pretty cool. I cannot wait to use this too. I just have like so many projects and so little time. This thing, I don't know what it is. It was a dollar. It was cute. It's Japanese. It's kind of weird because it's, it says Ava Coleman. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's a Coleman. I don't know, but it's just so cute. And it's acrylic. And again, it's never been open and it's glittery. If you can see, there you go. Is that not cute? So that'll go on something. I don't know, but I just couldn't, I couldn't resist it. No, is a bug. Next up, kind of boring, just a box of 50 um, clamps, small ideal clamps. I couldn't pass this up because I don't have, I don't have any um, paper clips and these are pretty neat. These are like, I don't know what you call the shape. They look like, they remind me of rabbit ears. I have a, I have an idea, I have a use for this because I, I want to create a food journal to document like my goals and what I want to do, like drink so much water a day or whatever, and I want to use some of this in here. Next up, got another pack of photo paper. 75 cents for a whole pack, never been opened. It's got 45 sheets. And I will continue to experiment with these. Um, I'll show you. I just did an experiment with acrylic inks on photo paper. This one's my favorite one. I think that's turned out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do something with this. I'll create another video and show you what I do with this. But that's what I'm doing with these right now. I'm gonna try a marker and some other stuff with these. So now I've got like three packs, I think, of these. So I can just do whatever, experiment, just whatever I want. Next up, I have two boxes of these for 50 cents a piece. Prom fasteners, which if I'm gonna start making journals, what, what easier way than just using prong fasteners? No, so, so punch some holes and just put you know use the prongs so i can't wait to use these i'm just excited i just i don't know this is just i don't have enough time i just don't have enough time next 50 cents unopened plastic still around it roll spool of ribbon and it's paisley pretty sorry this lighting is terrible and it, it's it's evening time it's dark outside and that's mostly the time that i can film anything is when i'm off work you know later in the evenings or on weekends so i'm just trying to get in some videos during the week too so i apologize for the for these dark shadows it's the best i can do for now maybe I need another clip I keep talking about that another another light clip might make it worse but anyhow if you can see that that is really pretty sorry I'm not my mouth is not over the speaker here next up never use never open I have need to try this this is cutting edge wrote singer scissors rolling scissors and that was 79 cents and same thrift store I got a pack of these um, designed by you paper clips and they're just um, squares these have been opened I believe there was 40 counting these, but I don't know. I think I'm missing maybe two, three, four, maybe a few, but there's still quite a bit in here. I don't know what shape you would call these, but these are pretty cool too. And what did I pay for these? Uh, I don't know what I paid for these. I'm guessing a dollar. Yeah. 
Yeah, sometimes, I mean, this, this one thrift store, they just write, they just write it with a marker and they're hard to find. Sometimes they write it in like a dark spot and you have to really look to see the price. And next is, I think someone made this, this is so cute, and it was only 49 cents, so you know, why not? Cute little, I want to call it a journal, not really a journal, it's a notebook and just untie it here it's just made out of like that printed you know pattern paper and then it's got these nice sheets of paper inside and they're thick a really nice thick um i want to call this beige beige or tan paper and it's got a it's got a texture to it too if you can see I don't think you can really see that that well, but that's pretty neat. So I will be using that as well. And then last thing I wanted to show you, and I have so much more. I mean, I have like a collective, I mean, just a collection of stuff that I've gotten in the past few months, but I don't know. I'll have to show it. Yeah. I can't, I don't know, I'm addicted now to going to the thrift stores and just finding, you know, what I can, like cheap art supplies to just play around, and I'm just excited, just excited. So this, I think I paid a dollar ninety something for this, and I didn't know what this was, like I saw, I subscribed to Liz Drake, and she had, I was binge watching her videos, and she had something that had this this cute little guy on it and it's a Gudetama and I don't know what this was I looked him up and he's called the lazy egg he's Japanese so cute and he's pretty depressed looking there and you flip him over and there's his little buns uh, it is just the cutest thing so I have um and it's an ipsy it's actually an ipsy bag you see that and I've right now I've just got my um, I've got some pens in here that I was planning on using that I'm planning on using for um, oh I still have to finish my French Bulldog so when I do that I will post that up but that that is it for now and I will be back and I'm sure I'll have plenty more to show you in the future so please like share subscribe I have so many things going on and so much stuff that I want to do so please just stay tuned and I'll try to keep you guys entertained with new stuff and new ideas. Thank you.